to give your uh, web page a sleek and professional look uh, you can use cover block cover block lets you uh, create these kind of uh, fancy sections where you can have a background image or or a background video as well or some solid or gradient color on the on the main background and on top of that you can have any type kind of content you can use any blocks inside a cover block like currently i'm i've added a headline block um, a paragraph block and a button block so this way you can use cover block to create fancy sections throughout your web design um, mostly uh, would be useful for designing a landing page or home page but can come handy on different use cases let's learn how to add a cover block and how to work with it to add a cover block you can add it uh, using different ways like any other blog you can click on the plus icon on the top and search for the cover block uh, and click it and it gives you this uh, this options these options to either upload an image or from the media library or from your local folder to set a background image like this for your cover block or you can simply choose a color to get it started and it gives you this blank div with the red color that I chose and you can just start your work right like this so by default it adds a paragraph block inside a cover block but you can add any other block in the cover block I'll show you in a while so another way to create a cover block is is by creating typing a forward slash uh, in an empty paragraph and type cover simply like any other block and click on this it gives you the same option so these are the two options you can add additionally you can also click on this mini inserter that comes inside any uh, uh, below any other any Gutenberg block like this or like this so you can click on this and click start search for the cover block and insert it as well so these are the few ways you can add a cover block in your page or post now let's see how to use a cover block so to show you I have a cover block here and you can uh, I'll actually remove it or uh, or actually take it create a new cover section here so I have already added a cover block here let's uh, let's start with uh, using the background color first so and I can uh, add a headline by typing uh, taking a headline block so I can type my headline test headline here and click center so anyway so I am just adding my content first to show you so let's keep it there so let's first see what options we have for the cover block in the toolbar you get the first two options which are default for any uh, Gutenberg block the first one is the transform option shows you the, the option you can transform this block to and there is only one block that you can transform to which is a group block and next we have the mover icons so this moves your content or block to up or down by clicking on these icons or additionally uh, let me zoom out so you can see additionally you can drag grab it and drag to a position where you need it and leave it like this so you can drag and drop a block in your page or post like this as well using this controller here next we have alignment options uh, in the alignment you can you make align the block to left right center as well and additionally if your theme supports you can wi wide align this block or full align this block that make that covers the whole width of the container area of your theme so these are the two options uh, dependent on the theme if your theme uh, is opting for these two options you will see this otherwise contact your theme author next we have this nice control which is very useful it allows you to basically control the position of your content inside the cover block so as you can see currently that this headline is aligned center but I can click on the position where I need to place uh, my content so as you can see this is really easy to to adjust the position of your content inside a cover block which is really really uh, intuitive and easy to 
use so these options there's this next we have a replace option the replace option basically um, if you are using a uh, an image on on your cover like like in this cover I'm using so I can replace the background image or video to another one like let's select this one or this one for example so that's it it has changed my background media to to the option I selected so these are the options we have uh, in the top tool block toolbar for the cover block now let's see what options we have for the cover block in the sidebar so in the sidebar we have uh, one two three and four panels of options for the cover block one is the media setting dimensions overlay and the advance the advance is as usual uh, similar to what we have from all other core blocks as well you can either assign a custom CSS class here or an anchor make and make this section an HTML anchor as well so let's see what we have in the media settings in the media settings we have the first option which says fix background so uh, if you want to make this background image fixed to create a parallax effect so what you can do is you can simply click on this option and that's it it what it does is as you can see the position of the image of the background is fixed and when you scroll down you see this nice little this nice parallax effect so you can click on this to disable and enable it the next option is really useful so suppose uh, let me change uh, the background image first so you can see clearly so let's say we need to use this image for or 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 or, or let's choose this one okay so as you can see this image is being replaced so now the, the, what this does is this adjusts the viewport or the focal point or, uh, on your image so suppose if you have some element in the in the background image that you want to make sure will be visible so you can adjust the position here and it it will set the position to that focal point by simply drag grabbing this little cursor on the in on this focal point picker control and move around your image and it will make sure that the background image will remain this position so this is really useful so these are the two options available in in the media settings panel and and by the way uh, if you are using a background color option as you can see there is no media image so you don't see at all those option that panel which is available on this cover block because it has a media so you would see the media settings and additionally because i am using a an, an image featured image uh so you see this these options if you are using video you'll see different options i'll show you in a while so let's see what other options we have we have a dimension option which can uh, adjust the minimum height of your cover suppose I have by default the content decides the cover block height so if I have this content uh, the height is adjusted according to the content but if you and if I keep adding more content like this the height will get adjusted to it but uh, let's remove this but if you want to set a minimum height you can you have two options either set the dimension here or simply click on this and grab this and move up or down and it will set a minimum height for for this cover section for for your page so like this i've set this to minimum 669 you can also adjust it from here or write it from here it is in the the unit of this height is in pixels so you cannot change it currently so maybe in the future so this way you can set a minimum height to your cover section or cover block 
and this dimension section is basically available in both cases either you have the media or not so the dimension is still there now let's see what other option we have so a media setting is done dimension is done the next panel we have says overlay so as we have a background image you can see it it is it by default sets an overlay color and opacity that you can adjust so you can change currently the black overlay color is applied as you can see but i can change it to white red or any other color so if you want to change that overlay color you can easily do this or even choose a custom color by clicking on this and pasting your hexa code or rgb or hsl or you can simply select color from like this you can even set a gradient color by switching to the gradient panel or tab here and either selecting a predefined presets of the gradient or adjust it from here i'll keep it to the solid black overlay now the another option in the overlay panel is the opacity by default it sets the opacity to 50 but you can either completely make it to zero or make it to 100 so you can adjust opacity according to your need let's see what the overlay does for the for the for the cover where we are not using a background media so as you can see there is no opacity option here if you are using a solid color it's just the solid color it, it is not acting as an overlay because there is no media behind it so it just changes the color to whatever you want you can either set it to a solid color or a gradient color like this so depending on the options you are using in the cover block there are different uh, variation of the options and set of controls so for the for the media as i showed you you can set this color size option work as an overlay on top of media and you can adjust the opacity but if you are using a solid color or a gradient color instead by uh, like this the the color option under the overlay panel act as simply as the background color either it's solid or gradient so that's it for the cover block there are no more options that that needs to be covered the last thing uh, is let's see how the mm, video works for the cover block so let's replace this with a uh, with a video um i have a i have a video downloaded so let's see if i drag and drop it on on the on the cover block what happens no it basically inserts the video block inserts the video block so i don't need to do this i'll just remove it and what i need to do is you need to click on replace and either open the media library and select the video or you can upload it from your local folder as well so just click on this and set it so this is the video we have as you can see it place in the editor as well like this all the other options are same the video plays automatically there seems to be no control there are no other controls that you can you can make the video control either you need to play it or not auto play but it, it obviously it's a cover blog and the media uh the video file works automatically so this is how it works for if you use the media the other options are the same the overlay the overlay color all works the same as the as the image as a background image so this is what uh, the, how the cover block works i hope i've covered everything if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments thank you